Hello Wins, welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Scotland with Filthy Robot, the tutorial series. How's it going? Doing well. Uh, we won our war. It's a pretty easy war. Had like no yeah. fights of, of note. We got a lot of pop-ups here. I want to start dealing with some of them. Uh, oh yeah. We have missions. I was hoping, <laughs> I was waiting till the end of the war before I accepted the missions. I wanted to see if we get any cool missions. Yeah. Um, what is this? They want us to protect our brethren and what is... Hmm. They just brethren. No, I don't want that. We, we have such a huge, we have like two whole rows of alerts right now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is a lot of alerts. So right. none of these missions seem actually useful to me. I guess the only one that maybe we'll do is our army. What does that want though? 75% of force limit. We're not going to be hitting that anytime soon, are we? No. Like our military tab. Only because of our, our, man, our manpower being so low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see. What, where to start? What do you want to work on first? Let's decide what we're doing for missions. Are we doing any of these missions right now? Hmm. No, I would just not accept the mission yet because yep. it, it could right. change. Um, some of your provinces lack cores. That I can we can do right now. That's over expansion, and I can do that. Let's go take a look at that. Stability and expansion, over expansion. Oh, I have an cores idea. Cores on all five of them, right? Uh, yeah. And there's uh, well, depending on war exhaustion, which we have very little of. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're good to just start the cores right away. Okay, I'm gonna try something you may recall we did once before, maybe a little bit gamey in some people's uh, perspectives. I'm gonna try training up as many heavies in one location as I can to see if I can make all of our money disappear so that we can take a mission to recover and get money. Okay. Uh, do we have a mission to get money? We don't, sadly. Damn. Didn't work. Okay. Claims and provinces you do not own. What does that mean? It just means that we have claims on other people. Yeah, I know we've been doing that. That's how we take land, silly game. Yeah, All right. you don't really need that alert. <laughs> yeah. All right, Condottieri, we're not going to do. Bavaria, we can build province improvements. Defender of the Faith. So, uh, every major religion can have a Defender of the Faith. It costs 500 gold to become the Defender of the Faith. We're now able to see this alert because we have more than 500 gold. If you go to your religion tab, we can become Defender of the Faith. There is on the right-hand side of the, the religious tab, a sword crossed over like the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the thing. It. Costs 500 gold. After 24 months, countries with more prestige than the current defender can claim the title. You lose the title when your current ruler dies, or if you decline a call to war from a country of your faith being attacked by infidels. So these are the things that you gain. You get an extra missionary, more morale of armies, monthly war exhaustion, more prestige. Your tech cost goes up and you gain papal influence, but... That seems like a lot to have to be... Like, that doesn't seem like a lot of bonuses for having to defend every guy who gets attacked. Only people who are attacked by other religions. So, for example, if Morocco attacks Portugal, Morocco in down in Africa, they are Sunni from a different religious group. Portugal is Catholic. We would be we would get a defensive call as the defender of the Catholic faith. Yeah. Or do we have more... to actually do anything with them? No. Just, but if you lose if you lose the war, then you lose the the title. Oh. Um, more likely that the big dangerous one is that the Ottomans will attack people eventually and uh they are terrifying what are, those bonuses don't seem worth 500 gold to me i'm messing over those bonuses no. and it, like morale of armies morale of navies we, that's those are both they're both morale's good but like we have good morale and armies and navies we don't i don't know what missionary does monthly war exhaustion would be nice but that's that's monthly war exhaustion it. is gonna be zero if we're not fighting anyways so yeah. it's not worth it for us right now yeah it seems terrible to me for the moment yep okay. Okay, so colonialism not embraced is starting to tick up. I would definitely take uh, Diplotech 9 right now. Uh, let's go take a look at what those are. So this so. is a, an exciting one because you, you're you looking forward to studying... Uh, no, you want to steal maps, that's right. The, the, yeah, we I, already had the tech. We haven't been doing that. Oh my god, we could be stealing maps. <laughs> we should do that from Portugal. In Portugal yeah. and Castile. Anyway, uh, so this is an exciting tech level because we get Carracks and Caravels. We get better heavies and better light ships. So from now on, whenever we build a new ship, they're going to be better. They're going to have more stuff. And if you want to see the exact comparison, you can you can hover over the text where it says, like, early Carrick. You can see the early Carrick is going to have 40 cannons, 20 hull size. And you compare that to our current, which is uh, 40 cannons and... I know that was okay. So now it's 50 cannons and 25 hull size. It's better. Basically, it's better. <laughs> better is better. Excellent. Better is better. Yes. So, next rebellion is is definitely going to be in uh, in the mainland. I'm going to take the navy. We're going to grab our heavy. I'm going to let you suppress most of these rebellions. Um, you, I wouldn't mind you commentating what you're doing, but I don't really want to micro it. So okay, 
Let next, uh, next thing I'm looking at, I'm, I'm raising the corruption slider, root out corruption, just so that it's not increasing. Okay. By keeping it from increasing, we still allow ourselves to potentially get good corruption events. We have all of our forts maintained because I'm concerned about rebellion right now. Okay. Uh, we don't like the missions. We're still in line to potentially get a union over Bohemia, which is kind of crazy. Estates demand control provinces. That's new. So because we gain development, the nobility now want more land. Okay, so if I look at the... I saw the pop-up. If I look at this, it's the nobility are unhappy right now. So we just got to give them a little bit more. But we kind of want to give them... Uh, we kind of want to give clergy stuff, right? Actually, yeah. because... Uh, I would give... Uh, no, it's, which one is... So clergy suppresses unrest, right? Yes. Yeah, but I would yeah. give Finn to the nobility right now. All right. Uh, I can do that then. Let's go do that. Uh, states... Ability, get them land, Finn. Yeah, and the only real justification for that is that it's the only province that's got more than 25% that's like available right now. Okay. So, whatever. We'll give them that. Beyond that now, I'm I'm very tempted to spend some money. Oh, why is clergy at 82% right now? If, oh, no, we already did that. Okay. I thought yeah. I gave the wrong guy, but I didn't. Okay. Yep. So, you, we can go one of two directions right now. I would either... I would either recommend building a bunch of churches everywhere... Or shipyards. Do you want to go more no, of a churches. naval focus or more of a church focus? I want to go more of a church focus. Okay. Then just go go through the, through the country looking for the ones with the best development. Looks like uh, Wallace the Girthy's got a 0.2 per month. Mm. You've got uh, Aberdeenshire is at 0.16. Irishshire 0.16. When the number it tells me, is this the... That's how much more money we're going to make every month. With the church? Yes. So I'm just looking for the biggest green number. Yes. Okay. All right. So how many of these should, should I buy? Just as many as I can. But we got a lot. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're we're still making money at full maintenance. So I would go down, like, try to keep like at least a hundred or so, maybe two hundred ducats, just for in case, because we are gonna have to reinforce after the battles with the rebels. But yeah, money sitting in your coffers is not not being earning any interest. So it's yep. you're you're losing out on opportunity. Plus, okay. it's a con it's a convenient way to make that. Annoying Defender of the Faith alert go away. Yep. Alright, so we are waiting on this army to get over there and they're going to pick up a bunch. Now here's your coalition. You see people are joining a coalition against us now. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's talk about coalitions. Go ahead and press the U key. Coalitions map mode. We've looked at this before. But now it's going to be more relevant. You're still building churches, aren't you? <laughs> yep. I just got the last church I wanted. I guess okay. we're 139. Are we still positive? Uh, barely. Not by much. Yeah. So I shouldn't spend any more. I was going to buy one more church. But no, okay. All okay. Right, so I'm clicking coalition. Sorry. O? U should U. be for you. If okay. yep. Coalition map mode. So you'll notice that some of these now are bright red. That means that they're in yep. the actual coalition. Okay. And then it colors it by the amount of aggressive expansion you have. Keep in mind, the important numbers are 50. 50 is the point where a nation can join a coalition against you. You'll notice that Sweden has 49, so even if they weren't our ally, mm -hmm. um, even if they wanted to, they cannot join a coalition against us. Okay. So pretty much, if a coalition is forming, two things that you need to be aware of. Number one, the coalition will not form if the coalition is so weak that it cannot beat you. So the fact okay. that one is forming is something to be aware of that we're kind of like maybe not happy about. Yeah. That means that they think they could beat us. Yeah. If enough people join the coalition, someone who is the coalition leader, like any any nation that's in the coalition will declare war on you, citing the coalition CB, which gives massive reductions to cost. So they can like force you to give up land, return territory, give up cores, all kinds yeah. of stuff you really, really don't want. Yeah. But in this case, because of our, our web of alliances, I'm still feeling pretty good. I want to improve relations with our, our allies. So Sweden uh, and Bohemia primarily right now. France is important, but he's already at 162 opinion. Okay. Do we need another claim on England right now? Uh, 39. Can we do it with 39? Let me take a look. Uh, fabricate claim. No, 55 is the next time we can do that. If you're asking if we need one, we have more than we're going to be able to bite off next time. Already, already claimed. So, no, we do not need another claim on England. Okay. All right. In this case, even though we're going to just basically be giving up spy network strength, we're going to pull him back and use him for something else, like okay. improving topping off relations with France. But before I forget, there's one other thing I want to talk about. When we took Diplotech 9, we just got the ability to study technology. Yeah, yeah. What do we, how do we do this? I want to steal maps, too. Okay, study technology is automatic. Basically, the way that it works is if any nation 
has better technology than you, and you have 100% spy network strength against them, you'll get a 5% tech discount per level they are ahead of you. Okay. From study technology. So let's just say, somehow, we're on tech, uh, perfect example actually, we're on tech 8 military, England is on tech 9, and you should see it already if you go to your military tech and hover over it, Scottish spy network in England, negative 1.9%. So we have about 40 spy network strength. You, you'll recall I said that if we had 100, we would get a 5% discount. So 40% of 5 is about 1.9. Okay. So that's where that comes from. So basically, if you have nothing to do with your diplomats, spy on people who know stuff more than you. So now we have a reason to have more diplomats. They're not just obnoxious. They can actually save us monarch points. I think that's that nice. if, if you played again and you weren't on an island, you wouldn't ever feel like you don't have... Like, like you have too many diplomats. I the currently hate diplomats, so that may, that may <laughs> change my opinion if I play a mainland sim. Yeah, the only reason you feel that way is because there's really not very many neighbors when when you're in, when you're Scotland. But okay. like, if you were playing as France, you you just have so many people you'd be interested in in interacting with. So anyway, we're gonna want to continue to. Uh, actually, we 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 want to press the L key. Okay. Press F1 to make sure you're on the right page, the front page. The third column from the right is a uh, text column. This shows okay. the nations that have the most technologies. You can see that the Ottomans have the most tech out of any nation that we are aware of. Yeah. 26 levels of tech. So, We're not that far behind. We're 24. Yep. If you want to see specific types of tech, you go over by uh, like three pages to page five. And you can sort by admin tech, diplo tech, or military tech. I want to call your attention to uh, page four. A yeah. Score over time. I've never seen a graph that actually the line draws out, out of the graph onto the main, the main map. <laughs> that is really is that, funny. Is that England? <laughs> That's England, yeah. <laughs> it's doing well. I've never noticed that. That's hilarious. Uh, so anyway, if, if, if there's a specific tech you're behind on, like let's say you have a, a deficit of admin points, then it might be a good idea to spy on the guy who's got the best admin tech so you can save sure. monarch points that way. But um, for now, we just need to just, you know, protect ourselves from these rebellions and stuff. Coalition is gonna it's gonna get bigger. Yeah. And we have a pop up. Okay. All right. Uh, more fucking coalition stuff. So that's just a million people joining the coalition, huh? Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at this. The mint is functioning at full efficiency, and the coinage has never been so pure. Ian Kerr is the person responsible. We can gain fifty admin, and we gain the master of the mint until for six years. The so yearly inflation reduction goes up by point one. Or we can gain 50 prestige and yearly. No, we're going to take the admin. Okay. Done. Okay. Um, admin tech. Wow, we can actually take admin tech after you cord everything? No way. Holy crap. Nice. Yeah, I would take the admin tech for sure. All right, cool. We're going to do that then. Let's go up to... And the reason being is that uh, colonialism is going to keep on spreading and we don't want to pay the penalty over time, so you should just take it right away. Okay. That's awesome that we actually had enough admin points for that. Sweet. And we have a new decision available, probably because of that admin tech. We have passed the Act of Uniformity. Just gives us extra missionary strength. Do we we haven't, want that? We do, yeah. We actually have some provinces that aren't Catholic now. Okay. Did you notice? I've never used a missionary. I, I did see the pop-up that said you can like convert a province or something. Yeah. Something so some, like of the, some of the land that we conquered from Denmark is Protestant. So if you go to the religious map mode, you can see that uh, that center of reformation in his capital has converted the lands around there, and it's actually working on Finn right now. It's converting our territory. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, but it is what it is. So. Well, is it bullshit? Because I'm kind of of the mindset: if we don't, if we don't gain this advantage with, um, with, uh, whoever the hell it was, do we just maybe go Protestant still? It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. So where was it? This was Bohemia. Bohemia. Has he He's... not died yet? Still hasn't died. He's Just... fucking holding on, isn't he? Yeah. Are we still uh, chief chief heir? Here we are. All right. Yeah. Well, let's oh. wait. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'm not too worried about it converting. I mean, it will be more expensive. I don't know. What does it happen if we get converted to a different religion in half our half our territory? Well, go take a look at the religion tab. Yeah. The entire campaign so far, we've had religious unity at 100 percent because everything yeah. was Catholic. Now our religious unity is 88 percent. Okay. Because of that, if you hover over the 88... Oh, national unrest and stability costs and yearly corruption. Yeah, Ugh. bad bad things happen when your country is not homogenous. So, All right, let's get some stakes out and do some burning. <laughs> you want to burn some, burn some books? Protestants, not real, stupid Protestants. 
Stop I was it. Think of the heretics, not so much their books, but okay. Oh, you wanted to burn them? Gotcha. Yeah. That's not very nice of you. You're a mean person sometimes. You know that? More efficient. <laughs> They're just gonna write more books if you don't burn them. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's good. That's that's pretty funny. All right. So the uh, the coalition formed, but the fact that they haven't declared war on us yet is a pretty clear indicator that they're not going to they're not going to declare. If people okay. stop joining the coalition and the coalition doesn't attack you, you're probably safe. Ninety percent on these rebels, huh? And ninety percent on some other rebels too. Yeah, the Ulstrians. Yeah, we're in Ulster. We're in Ulster. We're next to Meath. We're close to Meath. Province of Pale. Yep, there's one of them. Good. And I, I even picked correctly. Nice. Okay. And you're heading for English Separatists at 90% too now. Yeah. Yep, yeah, but we got forts. Okay. Look at that. I'm perfect. I know exactly where they're going to rebel every time. Nice. <laughs> well, so far, rebellion suppression seems pretty easy. Uh, Flynn has converted to Protestant. Uh oh. We just need we need Bohemia to die already. Well, knowing knowing my luck, he'll die, but not not until after I think we've lost the union or something. I don't know something. I, I never I never get lucky with these things. It would be super cool and fun to show to show it off, but I am not generally that lucky. Okay, so we've topped off relations there. I do think we should probably spy on on England a little bit more if they've got military tech advantage on us. We can take advantage of that okay. maybe possibly. I'll do that. Beyond that, we're, uh... Hey, Brittany just became the Papal Controller. Your churches are about to finish in about two months, 90 days. I want to steal some maps. What does it take? 50? 50 so, spy right. network strength, yeah. If you want to do that, go spy on, uh... France just... <laughs> France just French leader England. died. You reveled England. That's funny. Okay, so, uh... It's up to you now, at this point. Do you want to re-up the alliance? Or, sorry, the, uh, the royal marriage with France? If you don't think we're going to stay friends with them forever, then now would be probably the time to not take the royal marriage. I don't think we're going to stay friends with them forever. I don't know. It depends, it depends what we're doing. It depends if we go Protestant or not. So It's hard to say then, huh? Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't really care one way or the other. I mean, we can use them longer. We can always break alliances with them. I'm not really planning on taking any of their land anytime soon, so we have quite a, quite a lot of time to okay. change things around. So if you want to keep an alliance with them, it makes sense currently for defensive stuff versus this... this uh, coalition right yeah defensively we want to keep their their might on our side yeah they're a big blocker aren't they we'll see if they actually offer the royal marriage they, they probably will so i'm gonna spy oh. on uh fortification effort i'm gonna spy on castile for you let's just accept the marriage then okay they're offering it she's 20 uh we are 36 so should we yeah we'll just accept it's close enough whatever all right i don't want to pen um, we can get improved fortification for, wait, till 1821? For 300 end, years? End of the game, yeah. Permanent. Local defensiveness plus 10%. What is local defensiveness? That'll make each siege tick in that province take 10% 10, 10 longer, or in this case, it'll be 3 days. 10% of the base, which is 30. Which province is, is it? London. So in our capital. They're basically saying, do you uh, want to have... Does it actually say one? Hold on. Uh... Yes, it is London. This is want... it's, it's debatable. I mean, if you were playing in multiplayer, I'd almost always take it. But in single player, like, when is the AI ever going to actually have an army on your capital? Never. Especially since we're on a fucking island with naval superiority. Exactly. So in this case, I probably wouldn't take it. All but right, it's it's so it. it's usually so cheap. That... It's dismissed. All okay. right. Okay. Uh, commoners will get over these rumors in time. So we have either. Oh, wow, that's nasty. Oh, no. The royal heretic. Um, so we can either divorce the Queen Consort, which mm. will make the event Papal Authority happens, and then the Royal Family in Sweden will learn of this, which doesn't sound good. Uh, okay. Or we can take two extra national unrest. So the issue is that we're married to a Protestant nation and we're Catholic. Yeah. The Pope doesn't like that. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I'll support you either way, Filthy. Okay. Well, uh, I am leaning towards Protestant at the moment. Um... But I, I've just been waiting for this Bohemian leader to die. Whatever his fucking name was. Historically, in, in most of the games I've played, Bohemia ends up going Protestant. Just so you're aware. Okay. But he's not currently. Isn't it going to mess up our chance at this right now? 
Well, you'll notice that one of his provinces is already Protestant, and another, no, he's got two provinces that are Protestant, and that right, that center of reformation is going to keep on converting him. So, okay. I'd say there's about an 80 to 90% chance that he will become Protestant. I'm okay going Protestant, then. Um, can we do anything with the papal influence anytime soon? Like, Not unless you can get not, to right? 50. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's try Protestant. Let's see what happens. Okay. In that case, you can either wait until land gets converted automatically over time, or you could click the button right now, lose 100 prestige, and just become Protestant, and we could have bonus missionary strength. How do you, you want to do want it? Missionary strength? You've never told me what a missionary does. I mean, I assume it spreads religion, but that's, yeah. all, I, that's all I know. That's the extent of what I know about missionaries. Yep, they just convert provinces from one religion to another. Okay. Do I care? Um, I mean, we see the negative of having both, but like currently, I, I would, guess if we... Since we can't get the uh, the bonus for being one of the first people to embrace it, I'd probably wait till some more of the land gets converted automatically. Because okay. if you were to embrace Protestant right now, our religious unity would flip from 88% to like 15%. Okay. Whatever it is, because then and that would be even nastier bonus. Oh yeah, it'd be horrible. It'd be really, really bad. It's okay. not a, it's uh, not a linear what am I scale. Doing this pop up, by the way. Which one? The one I told you about the crappy world heretic one. So we either take, we either we have two. I feel like national unrest is kind of thing we don't really want right now, right? So if I go to uh, stability and I mean, isn't this what's probably causing all the problems with the rebels is unrest? It's bad, but they're all going to fire anyway, and they can only fire once in 20 years, so it doesn't even really matter. It just speeds up how quickly we right. go through this process. Done. Sped up. So, then. yeah, I mean, we want them to fire in a controlled manner, and ideally we want to get done and through with it as fast as possible. Do you want to take uh, another idea? These, oh, building complete pop-ups, okay. Okay, so... Uh, do I want another idea? <laughs> yes. Hey, do you want to attack England? We can attack England right now. <laughs> yeah. We should not do that. I, I hear you're worried about some rebels. Yeah, I hear that rebels are dangerous. You go to war with rebels? No. In the background? No. 90% English separatists? Perfect time to declare war on England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, we'll take our land unit. Okay. I mean, we've taken this grand... We've taken this military idea group, and I'm a bit worried that it wasn't that useful to us. Oh, I don't know. I think that you're you're forgetting how powerful Donald Alexander has been with his one six two. Yeah. You, you realize that we probably would not have had a general that good without having the extra yeah, one shock and. Yeah. yeah, he's. It, it's it's one of those cumulative long term effects. Denmark's no longer a valid rival. So we just uh, got too strong for them. That's a big English rebellion. Okay. Too. 20 in the front. We've got 20 in the front. I would really like to, to get a few more troops here. Okay. But they, they rebelled in a province where we can we can very safely uh, take our time. It's a it's a woods province with uh, a fort in it. Okay. You know what? I think we're gonna risk not hiring mercs yet. Because we're not at war. We're gonna train four more infantry. We're going to wait the 60 days. That way we can use our cab to flank. Okay. England just joined yep. the coalition because they're no longer at truce. Okay. Well, that's actually kind of good for us. But they... No, it's actually not because that means that when we attack England next, then the coalition, we have to fight everyone now instead of just England. Okay. Oh, uh, we just lost morale of armies minus 5%. Claim to Lithuania. Austria is claiming Lithuania? Fascinating. That's so weird. Um, generally, most of the time, if you can, oh, if you... Well, what's this too few rivals? Why are we not rivaling people? I don't know. Pick a, pick a rival. Okay. You could rival, uh... None of them look particularly good to me right now. They're far away, and they don't matter. We already have a 100 power projection. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. We conquered so much land from Denmark and England that, like, we're capped out on power projection, so it doesn't really matter. We need to call this very soon, so I think after this fight... Yes. Also, you probably want to break your embargo of Denmark because he's no longer our rival. We don't get it for free, so we're taking a trade trade efficiency penalty. How do I do that? Just right-click on Denmark and then go down to economic. I think it's economic. Yeah, economy actions, revoke embargo. Okay. Done. Meanwhile, we're doing our fight with the English separatists without a leader. Donald ruled a zero. 
And then he rolled a 10. That's pretty good. Rolled a 4 and got 6 bonus. Different. Just lost 6,000 manpower to put down the English. Annoying. Okay. Sligonian Separatists next. <laughs> and then Clan Ricard, and then the Danish. Oh god, the Danish. You see, um, the, you see the Danish? Finn, 27.8. Skane, 22.8. I Good. didn't notice that. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot of troops, huh? You're in the stability expansion tab to see that? Yeah, well, no, I'm hovering over the, the things in the outliner. You can just hover over the rebel factions in the outliner, you can see the... 2k army. Is that what how big the, the Danish... We need manpower. Is that how big the Danish are gonna be? Yeah. Oh god, that's a lot. Well, next time. Yeah, so, uh, we'll see. Hopefully the alliances hold together, and we can actually, uh, not get killed by the coalition. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright, thanks I'm for watching. I'm a bit worried about this manpower, so. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. See you in a bit.